Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial with me, Michael Tierney. Today I'm going to show you how to create something like this, where you get a less smoke effect in Adobe After Effects. First, what you want to do is go to this link, which I will put in the description below, uh, and you download Trap Code Particular 3.1, and we'll get the trial version. And then get it for Windows or Mac. And once it's downloaded, um, just install it by extracting the file, and obviously going next. And then once you've downloaded the file, extract it, and then go Agree and Next. You can install whichever ones you want, but we're just going to use Particular for this uh, tutorial. And there we are, we have it installed, so we're going to jump into After Effects. Now that we're in After Effects, we can go up here and go File and Import, or Control and I as a shortcut. Select your photo and click Import. Um, I've cropped this to a 1080p, so your composition, so your standard size is 1920 by 1080 and usually 25 to 30 frames a second, and we'll make the duration of the composition 10 seconds. Click OK. Then we'll go to Layer, New, Solid, Control and Y is the shortcut. Just put this as black, that's fine, OK. Go in your effects, type in particular, drag that on top. Once we've done this, we'll drag the particle emitter where we want the position of the smoke to emit from. Then we'll go to the emitter and we want to turn the velocity to 3, we'll turn it to 3. Uh, we'll bring the random down as well to maybe 5. Then we'll go to the Particles tab, the Life, maybe bring this up to 5. And change the Particle type from Sphere to Streaklet. Go down to the Physics. And we'll pull down the Air tab here. And we'll go Wind Y and we'll bring this probably down to 180. And we can already see that this is starting to kind of go this way. And you can drag the layer left so, so it doesn't just start emitting. And then there we are. We'll then drop down the turbulence field. And we'll look for effect position. We'll change this to 500. And the octave multiplier to 3. And we'll bring the evolution speed down to 5. And then we'll bring the size of the actual particle itself up to something like 200. And the opacity down to 10. We'll be controlling the size over the life here. And you kind of want to build it up shapes or something along the lines of this. And you can use the smooth button to smooth the shape out. Then we'll scroll down to the opacity of life and we'll get something kind of like this shape and smooth out again. See how that's looking. And then we'll set the fading time to maybe about three seconds like this. So yeah, we'll probably bring the octave multiplier down to 2, and then move with wind, we'll bring up to 100%. Once we've done this, we'll check it out and see what we've got. And there we are, a super easy way of how to create smoke in After Effects. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv. Thanks for watching.